Hi, this is Logan from Logan's Run the Podcast, and you have found another one of my video tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to do intros and outros using Audacity, which is a free recording and mixing website editing program that you can use for your podcast. What you want to do is go Google or do a Yahoo search for Audacity, and it will take you to audacity.sourceforge.net at which point you can download a couple of different versions. There's versions for the Mac, there's versions for Windows. I recommend you download the Audacity 1.2.6. Uh, you have the beta program here 1.3.9 which has some little glitches still in there so go with what what is a stable edition for right now. And I'm not going to download it because we already have the program online. But what we're going to do is we're going to open up the program here and this is Audacity. And up here you have a number of different files up here. You want to find project. And then we're going to import some music. At this time, earlier in the show, you should have maybe looked around and found some music that you want to use for your podcast. There's tons of free, royalty-free music out there that you can use. I use actually a sound clip where I have written and gotten permission from the authors to use. And we're going to do that there. I'm going to actually I'm going to redo one of my intros. For, that I use for my show Logan's Run the Podcast. So what you want to do is you want to go down and find where it is and I'm using this right here this mp3 format and you want to import it into the show. Now an intro if you, if you have an hour-long show you want to figure probably you can go up to a minute for an intro. Less than an hour you want to keep it down to about 30-40 seconds. And what I do and this will be kind of loud so let's lower the volume here for you. I have my intro music and you want to play it through to make sure it sounds fine. And right about here, about 13 seconds into the show, is a place that I'm going to want to insert some dialogue explaining and introducing people to what the show is about. You have a number of different ways you could do it. You can do it live yourself where you can record something in. I use a friend of mine, a co-worker of mine named Tiffany, and she is my announcer on the show. And she does all my recordings and all intros and outros and commercials for me. She has a great voice, and I always tell people that they come listen to her intros and outros for a minute at the beginning and end and ignore the rest of my show. But you want to find a place here where you want to insert your music into. And I'm going to be inserting it into about the 13 second mark right here. So what you want to do is once you have found that clip, you can ask a friend to pre-record it. You can actually record it yourself and then insert it. What we want to do is I already have the clip down here and it's entitled Intro. We want to import that into the show as well. And what it does once you load it in there intro is it opens up another little window right down here another track and it insert, inserts it right there now I could right now if I wanted to I could play it right now and it will actually merge the two From the home office somewhere in the United States. but that's not where I want to put it so first what I want to do is I actually want to clean up you can see where there's these little bumps and glitches right here and all this long dead space I want to remove that first of all if I mute this up here and if I were to play this right here you'd see what I mean those little clicks there we want to remove that and what you can do is this tool right up here and you can see it there that I'm playing with right here the uh, the capital I is a line tool and you can highlight where you want it and just drag it across like this and just highlight that section and then up here there's a tool called the scissors tool and what that will do is that will cut and throw that away. So we cut that and it's gone. So let's go to the beginning and the line tool is actually your marker where you can move it around. You can see the line right here showing that if I were to play it right now that's where I would be popping in. You can move it around to different places and it's like your cursor. So let's start at the very beginning and listen to Tiffany. Here's the host of Logan's Run, the one and only Logan. 
Now some of the other tools that you have is you have a magnifying glass up here which will going down to the track you want by clicking on it left click you can actually increase you can zoom in on the size there and what I want to do is I want to remove some of that quick dead space that's there for about half a second in the beginning here so we're going to use our line tool again and just go right there drag it over and then we're going to go back up to the scissors tool up here again and we're going to cut and that's gone. Now I'm going to go back to the magnifying glass and by right clicking I'm going to bring it back down to a manageable workable size here. Now we have this tool right here and this tool allows you it's a time shift tool and by clicking on it I can move by holding down the left mouse button I can move this around anywhere like that I want. And what I want to do is I'm going to line it up right about there, about 13, 13 and a half seconds, which is where I determined where I want to input my audio into the, into the music track. Now we're going to unmute, or we're, yes, we're going to unmute the additional track up to the top again. And we're just going to start from the very beginning. We're going to see how it sounds now with the additional music there or the uh, dialogue entered in. Now something I like to do and a lot of people don't do it themselves is I have the music right where I want it. I have the dialogue right where I want it. I like to do fade ins and fade outs. As you notice at the very beginning here and we're going to zoom in here. The music fades into the start. It goes from the beginning and it actually increases in tempo. And if you were to go to the very end as well, you'll see right here how it's decreasing down to nothing. Those are called fade ins and fade outs. And what that does is when you're playing at the end, right before it goes into the actual show, it just slowly fades out to nothing. And what you can do is you go to your line tools and you highlight a section. And then we can go up to effects up here at the top. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different effects you have. You have boom boost, you have you can change your pitches and stuff like that, echoes. You have a fade in and fade out. And if I were to click fade out again, and I'm not going to keep it that way since I already have this faded out how I want it. But if we were to play it right now, For that 10 second period, it would actually fade out to a long fade out. And I'm going to undo fade out since I already have one there for the last 5 seconds or so. But that is the simple way of how to actually create your intro. What you want to do at the end there is you actually want to come up to the top and export it as an MP3. That's the most common means of using it. And I always place it on my desktop so I can find it later. Give it a name that you want to use it for here. We're going to name it Tutorial Intro. And it is going to actually export that out to an MP3 format right where I put it there. We're going to click on it. It brings it up in a Windows Media format. And there you have Tiffany doing my intro. We're not going to save this, but this is the actual intro that I actually have on Logan's Run the podcast. I've been using it for a long time now. And you can do the same thing for making outros. You can create your own commercials. You can do all sorts of different effects. You can use it for inserting pre-recorded music or interviews into your show. Now, just to put that into the show, I would then go ahead and use my program that I have via motion. 
which you can find on another training video on my website to teach you how to use that. And I'd be able to insert that right where I want it. Well, this has been Logan from Logan'sRunThePodcast.com with another one of my training tutorials on learning how to create your own intros and outros.